Good morning. How are you this morning? Isn't this tree beautiful? <laughs> I was just running around um, a slightly different route than I normally run because I'm feeling low on energy today and I came across this beautiful blossom tree uh, and I thought I would share it with you guys. Um, unfortunately it's not somewhere where I can stop and do my normal talk so I'm going to start walking um, because I'm also going to walk past the primary school. Um, hello, look at that. See, isn't that beautiful? A little halo on my head. Fantastic. Anyway, happy birthday. Welcome to the first day of the rest of your life. How are you today? You see, every day can be your birthday if you choose to celebrate it. And I'm celebrating with a beautiful blossom tree. <laughs> happy birthday, everybody. Um, hope you're doing well and uh, enjoying your life. Here you go, this is the primary school entrance. Um, as you, oh, I was going to say, there's usually, <laughs> there's usually a bunch of mums around here <laughs> dropping off their children. This is, this is the girl I ran past earlier with the pretty flowers, isn't it? Yes, it's the pretty girl from the flowers. Hello again. I've come the other way around. Doing a little Facebook Live here, so. <laughs> yes, what you say, Mummy needs what? Uh, just trying to swat up on what the flowers are. Oh, I see, yeah. You take some photographs and get on Google. <laughs> Hello, little mate. How you doing? There you go. It's one of the mums. Well, not dropping off the children, but walking past anyway. Uh, I saw her on the earlier part of my run. Anyway, there you go. Isn't life lovely? Um, uh, hope you're well. Um, yes. Uh, happy birthday to the people whose real birthdays it is today. And it is Duncan Price's birthday today. He normally does a, uh, a live himself at nine o'clock on a Thursday. So I'm guessing he's already finished his. Um, and here's the little pathway alongside the primary school here. Um, for anyone who's not in Siren Sister understands what's going on. Because sometimes when I'm doing my lives from the other end of this pathway, you'll hear the children um, having fun in the background because they have this lovely park, play park area here. Which I'll show you in a second. Um, yeah, so he's done his live already. Um, and uh, normally on uh, confirmation, well, confirmation bias, uh, cognitive biases, just generally. I'm not sure if he's still doing that. Uh, it's all on YouTube. If you look at Duncan Price on YouTube, I'm sure you'll find it. Um, there you go, here's the little play area thing they have. It's kind of cool, huh? Um, cool, and then uh, Carol Eaton, Dikash Patel, Martin Morello. Martin Morello, I think you're a 4M person as well. Carol Smith, Louise Northwood, and Diane Blackman. I don't know how I know most of you guys, um, unless I've mentioned it, obviously. So please feel free to comment in the comments below how I know you, where I met, where we met. Uh, where I know you from because I have a lot of friends on Facebook and it's hard to keep track of everybody if I don't see you on a regular basis. Um, so obviously Duncan's very active in uh, groups and so forth, so I see him a lot. And uh, I met Martin Warrado, who's got a yeah, unusual surname um, that uh, seems to stick in the mind quite easily. So um, yes, happy birthday to all of you people. Um, anyway, I'm going to give you I'm gonna do the blow out the candle thing. My mum picked out something very interesting the other day actually. Um, I that's too high. That's not. I'm gonna go and move around here a bit. Oop. Yeah, I'm gonna go and stand over here. Um, the lady in the window in the house just behind where I talk here came over to me the other day. Her name is Jane, um, and she said, uh, "Hello, Manoj. Happy birthday to you in." I was going to say Thailand for some reason. I've been talking to somebody from Vietnam just recently um, in uh, Tibet. There you go. Um, yes, I just met somebody uh, from uh, Thailand. No, from Vietnam. Um, I imagine she's possibly... I'm not sure if it's she or he, actually. Weirdly, I've just suddenly realised. Uh, you can't really tell from uh, these names sometimes, can you? But anyway, hello to uh, my viewer in Vietnam uh, who doesn't speak very good English. Um, doesn't speak any English, actually. Um, and uh, I've been talking to... Uh, them <laughs> um, about uh, maybe doing a talk in Vietnam at some point in the future and uh, uh, she, he sorry, apologies, don't know, must ask the question when I next speak to them um, has a sister or a friend or something who runs an events company in Vietnam so cool, cool, they can organise a venue they can organise people to turn up and I can stand there and I can talk and I can get um, somebody to do interpretation, speak in English and I can go and do a talk in Vietnam. How cool would that be? Um, and obviously, same sort of thing in Tibet, potentially. Manoj, if you can organise that for me, that'd be magnificent. Um, and anybody else around the world who lives in any country. Um, at some point, I'm going to do a start doing tours and doing talks in various countries and I would love for uh, some of my friends all around the world to, to help me organise those and uh, get people into room and, uh, uh, yeah, and let's um, split the proceeds um, and <laughs> make it happen. That's why not. Um, anyway, happy birthday to those people. Um, uh, my mum pointed something out to me, that's what I was saying before, wasn't it? Um, about somebody on TV had mentioned to her and she thought it was a really cool thing about when you're struggling with anxiety and um, panic attacks and stuff and you're having trouble 
Um, when people say to you take a deep breath, it's quite hard to take a deep breath because you've usually been breathing quite shallow, <laughs> sort of panic, <laughs> like this and this stuff. And, and all, your lungs are kind of full and you haven't got enough capacity, spare capacity in your lungs to be able to take a deep breath. So what you need to do is really is, and this is what she, she said on TV, was a couple of, deep, couple of short breaths <laughs> and then a <sighs> long breath breath out, which is kind of what I do when I talk about blowing your candles out, like pretending you blow your candles out at the start, isn't it? So uh, you can do. Um, uh, so I always. So I would, I would say just pretend to blow out, blow out one candle, and then take your five deep breaths in through your nose. There you go. And then hold for five, four, three, two, one. And then blow out the five candles. And then the other thing I I, I also pointed out as well, which I, I think I'm going to modify for my my technique here, um, is to actually blow on your fingers and thumbs so you can feel them as well. Um, and actually do it with your left hand. Or well, yeah, you yeah, do it with your left hand. And the reason being is you want to put your right hand on your heart <laughs> so you can feel the love, feel the love. Um, and we are going to talk about the topic of the day, by the way, today um, in a moment. Probably going to run out of time. I'm going to push right up to my 15 minutes, but never mind. Maybe I'll carry the topic over until tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see. Um, <laughs> anyway, so yes, and then blow out on your hands. So, so when you do, the, um, when you do breathe out the fire, go and feel the... The, the breath on the tips of your fingers that also gets your mind uh, your, your thoughts and your your focus outside of your body as well uh, the heart thing does a similar sort of thing it takes it out of your head to your heart and then onto your fingers um, and it allows you to get your 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 all that negative thinking out of your side of your head if you're struggling with panic attacks and anxiety attacks so blow out one candle hand on the heart five through the nose hold for five three two one and then blow out the candles on your hands. Make a positive thought. What's your uh, positive thought for the future? What's your plans for the future? What's your um, think about a happy birthday in the past? Something. Do it five times. Why not? Um, and uh, that'll help you throughout your day. There you go. <laughs> Little tips. Um, happy birthday to everybody, and uh, particularly to people whose real birthdays it is today: Duncan, Carol, Dickesh, Dick Sesh. Actually, Dick Sesh. Apparently, um, Martin, Carol, uh, Louise, and Diane. Cool. So the topic of the day today, now I'm just going to have to switch across because i got a lot of notes today. Yeah, isn't that? Oops. Sorry, 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 sorry. Hello, viewer, by the way. It's probably in the Minoj still monodging, is it? Still monodging? <laughs> um, yes. So um, uh, what was it? It was uh, everything in the world is either an expression of or a call for love. Um, I'm going to have to put a note at the top of my description saying <laughs> this starts. <laughs> the actual talk starts after uh, eight minutes or whatever it is ends up being. Um, <clears throat> yes, so uh, everything like either an expression of love or uh, a call a call for love or an expression of love. Uh, so obviously an expression of love, we all know what that is. It's like you know, showing your love for somebody and so forth. But a call for love, now this is a tricky one, an interesting one, because it's like, um, and we talked about this a little bit yesterday, which is uh, your mindset and your brain power um, focusing on the wrong stuff uh, because you've been programmed in the past by you know, society, your parents, your teachers, um, uh, and society I can't remember there was five, four supposed to be in that list I can't remember what they are now um, but yeah so you've been programmed to, to feel a certain way to think that this is how the world should be uh, and you've got remember we've talked before for about the unconscious um, beliefs in here and then your subconscious beliefs uh, which is your basically your habits and things you've done regularly over your life but unconscious beliefs are more sort of societal this is just how things are kind of stuff and then you've got your conscious beliefs on top here so this is your whole brain conscious beliefs unconscious beliefs uh, sorry, um, sorry, subconscious beliefs, unconscious beliefs, and then you've got your heart that needs to connect right through all that stuff to your head. Heart and head needs to be connected um, so that you get out of this kind of automated um, thinking and feeling thing. Um, so, um, uh, yes, so when you've been programmed to believe that the world should be a certain way or that you should be a certain way, um, remember that shoulds, can ch change, those, change those shoulds to can choose tos. I can choose to do things or I'm choosing not to do things, should, whatever. Um, uh, when, you've, when your society believes you should be a certain way and you feel like you should be a certain way because that's how society feels you should be and inside you don't feel that's how you should be uh, or that how, who you are. You're, you're not the person who you feel like society is making you into be and that's why that kind of, that, we had that whole kind of like um, crinkled kind of uh, ugly sort of exterior uh, of yourself that society has imposed on you because the real you is inside, deep inside. Um, but when you... Uh, uh, and so you can act out... Uh, on those negative uh, thoughts, uh, which then looks like a really bad, um, and it's getting really cold, so I'm going to get warmed up. Um, so you can get, um, um, uh, you can act out, and it can look really, really bad um, to the rest of society, 
uh, if you're acting out uh, in an attempt to try and fit in with society's expectations and norms uh, when you really don't. Now, there's two stories about this. Now, the first one, uh, second one I'm going to talk about, rather, is uh, the guy in America who shot uh, and killed, uh, I think it was six um, Asian women a um, couple of nights ago. It's a bit of a painful one, but I'm going to talk about that in a minute. Because first of all, I want to talk about something that was on my stories yesterday, which is a, an Amer- again, American politician, I think, I'm not sure, um, who uh, was a father of a uh, transgender child. Um, and he said that he'd spent the first few years of his, her life um, trying to uh, impose his beliefs that, that that his son was a son and wasn't, a, wasn't female. Um, and the girl, the, the child wanted to be a female um, and wanted to act out that stuff and, and was miserable and never smiled, was unhappy at school, wasn't studying, was really struggling with life and all that kind of stuff. And then one day the father was, uh, the, the child asked the father, um, who was, who borrowed one of his sister's dresses or something, can I go over and play in the neighbour's garden? The dad said, no, you can't. And then the, the child then said, if I go back in and change into boys' clothes, does that mean I can then go to play with my friends? And that was the moment when the dad went, oh... <laughs> I can see what's going on here. And he said, yeah, you can. And then from that moment on, he allowed the child to be who the child wanted to be. Uh, and then the child was happy, was smiling, was fun. His grades, imp- her grades improved and all that kind of stuff. Um, yes, so um, it's, it's just, it was just amazing how the difference in changes because um, the child was trying to be forced into a box that the parents wanted them to fit into. Um, and as soon as the child was allowed to be themselves, they could be free and they could be happy. Um, and so that miserable, miserable, miserableness, um, and I'm going to run over my 15 minutes, I think, um, was created by um, uh, trying to contain that person into a box. And I, I think, I feel like, and I don't, we don't know because we haven't seen the, the outcomes of this, but I get the impression from all the things I've seen about this American guy who shot these Asian girls, he was struggling with a sex addiction and a thing that he felt ashamed of, he felt judged, he felt um, bad about inside himself that he couldn't express in a certain way. And then he acted out to try and, it turns out, seems, seems to be, that he's gone out to try and uh, kill people in massage parlours so that other people don't get tempted like he was tempted. Um, so he's tried to um, push out a call for love because he wants to be loved and accepted in, in, as he is. Um, um, and, and so he's acting out for it. So sometimes those calls for love can act like, can sound, seem like a really bad thing, but when you start to analyse it, actually you can see that actually that's just person that just wants to be fitted in, just wants to be loved, wants to feel uh, accepted and, and so forth in, as they are, as the person they are. And they just don't know how to express that um, that uh, that need and that desire, and sometimes that like, can overflow into negativity. Obviously, it's a far more complex subject than that. But it's just if you start thinking about these things from other people's perspectives, that's something I talk about a lot on this channel. Is uh, think about the world from the other person's perspective and have a think about what, what it is they're actually trying to do, what's their actually achievement, what, what's their what's their aim, and all that kind of stuff. Okay, I've definitely run over my time. Uh, terrible. <laughs> um, But you can choose. You can choose to have love or fear. You can choose to have happiness or pain. You can choose to have conflict or peace. Um, And it's just how you express that uh, that point. There's some more notes in the in the comments below um, for people. I am going to stop there for my Instagram lovers, and hopefully, I've managed to keep it under 15 minutes for Instagram. So, going to send you some love. And uh, if you want to watch the rest of this, step over to uh, YouTube or onto Facebook. Um, John V Denley everywhere on the internet. (laughs) Okay, guys, thanks very much. Okay, for people on YouTube and um, on Facebook, a little bit of extra for you. Um, uh, and Instagram people who have you come across to my YouTube channel, then that's fantastic. By the way, if you want to go and check my YouTube channel out, it's just youtube.com forward slash John V. Denley, of course. Instagram, instagram.com forward slash John V. Denley. Um, chat, chat room, chat hub, chat, what is it called? Um, Anyway, you know, <laughs> anyway, any social media platform, just stick a slash John V. Denley on the end and you'll find me there. Um, my nose is starting to run, so I'm going to have to blow my nose. Ah, that's very frustrating. Anyway, um, yes, so I think that was probably it, really. There, there was a couple of things about the, um, the videos uh, of the today um, that are um, worth mentioning. Jeff Bezos, top 10 there, was basically saying that reality will never match the plan. So when I was talking yesterday about setting out your plan for the future so you have a goal and then you have fun along the way um, and the reason you can have fun along the way is because the reality will never match the plan he was talking about business plan so you write a business plan but the reality will never match that business plan um, and so it's a bit tricky for him in that respect um, and Evan was saying if you want to live outside the box you have to step outside the box and it's a similar sort of thing it's about being 
boxed in by society and you feel like society has boxed you in. Um, uh, by the way, hello Natalie. Oh, by the way, are you were watching? Sorry, and you made a really good comment there and I completely ignored it. That was terrible. So it's, it's hidden underneath my notes. So uh, I find really helpful about social conditioning. Yes, exactly. Yes, exactly. Social conditioning gets in the way of everybody being who they really want to be. Um, um, and oh, Evan also said that if you're over planning, you're over strategizing or you're over procrastinating, it's basically just a fear. And you need to ask yourself what the fear is. Why are you stopping yourself from moving forward and doing the things you need to do? Um, <laughs> why am I stopping myself from actually doing this uh, seven day challenge, which is starting on Sunday? It's not so much the seven day challenge I'm stopping myself from doing. Um, if anybody wanted to sign up for it, just drop me a message it would be very easy but what i need of course is a landing page with a, an email auto subscribe and a payment page and all that kind of stuff and i just can't be bothered to do all the techie stuff around that um uh, and i asked somebody else to do it and then that person then said to me okay so what do you want to put on the page so it's like oh well what's the structure what's going to be on day one what's going to be on day two so i've got to go through that whole thing and it's just like oh what a drag to write it all down and figure it all out it's like just come on my course and it'll be fantastic it'll be fine um uh kyle Cease did that thing and he said he just did a whole weekend and he just said uh, i don't know what i'm gonna be talking about but i'm gonna be talking for two days just come and, and watch me and pay and people just turned up and paid and he said it was amazing because i don't know what i'm gonna be talking about on day one and he just started and went but of course he had an audience he, so he had people who just wanted to come and see him and spend time with him um i don't quite have that yet I don't have people who are willing to pay just to listen to me speak <laughs> um, and spend a week learning from me, um, especially when you guys get stuff for free on here. So, um, but the stuff, the, the point about that is that the stuff that's on here that's free is unstructured. It's, um, it's just whatever's going on at the time. It's a little bit of what's happening in the world, what's happening in politics, um, a little bit of what I've read this morning or I've listened to this morning. Oh, by the way, all that love stuff was earlier on was from the book Lovability, which is linked in the descriptions. So feel free to go and check that out. Um, uh, another quote I had yesterday, which is kind of cool, which was, um, again, this is all just sort of tips and tops and stuff that I've learnt over the last 24 hours or so. Uh, every moment waited is a, is a moment wasted. So again, that's every time you wait for something, um, you're wasting. You're wasting time. You're wasting, and he goes on to say something about you, you're losing your passion for your project that you want to plan because if you wait too long, you start to lose the, the fun of it, I guess. Um, so yeah. Um, that's that <laughs> um and then i can't remember where i saw this one but uh, i think it was the end of the evan carmichael espresso video um when it was um i think it was was it jordan peterson no it was the guy who wrote um oh i can't remember his name um simon sinek simon sinek and he was saying he was on a, he did a long run a marathon I'm not, sure, I'm not sure if it was a marathon maybe it was a 10k or something like that, i don't know but he came to the end of it and and somebody had set up a table and it was like free bagels on this table um and there was a long queue of people waiting to get their bagels um and he said to his friend look free bagels and his friend said look long queue and he said no no yeah but free bagels and he said yeah but long queue <laughs> and he said let's go and get some free bagels and he said yeah but we don't want to have to wait in the queue it's a long queue uh, and uh, simon sinek said there are two different types of people in the world there are people who see the goal <laughs> and then there are people who, who, who see the things that are going to stop them from getting to the goal um, and i thought that was really quite a cool kind of analogy and basically simon sinek then walked up to the table just reached his arm through the queue grabbed two bagels and walked away uh, now what he sacrificed is the choice and of course the queue the reason for the queue was because people were saying oh which one am i going to have and uh, and all that kind of stuff whereas he just said i'll just take two bagels i don't care what they are i'll just have those and I'll accept the fact that i'll get random two bagels um and i've done that a few times when you go to like um buffet lunches and so forth <laughs> and there's a big long queue just run up to the front of the queue grab a couple of sandwiches and go right <laughs> and then join the back of the queue <laughs> so you're eating your sandwiches while you're waiting for the food proper food um but sometimes there's it's like a big queue like this and then there's a big empty table <laughs> and then there's like three sandwiches at the front end so you're not even jumping in front of anybody it's like <laughs> just grab it anyway there you go um i just wish i could do that with my mindset for actually getting this techie stuff done um, and built out anyway that's a very long one from me today um apologies for that um, i had my uh, injection yesterday my vaccination as you may have seen um so i'm feeling quite tired today so that's probably why i'm not really on like 100 percent form today um uh yeah so lacking energy it's why i went a different route on my run um and ended up doing that lovely blossomy bit at the beginning uh, and then obviously walking past the uh, primary school. This is all part of what I did today. Anyway, take care of yourselves. Have a lovely Thursday and I will see you tomorrow on Friday. Hopefully a little bit earlier, a little bit more um, enthusiastic, <laughs> a little bit more organised, a little more brain, a little bit more focused. Um, and uh, yes, so that will be Friday tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Love you all. Mwah.
send love out into the world um, and uh, yeah be tolerant of other people uh, show some compassion and recognize everybody else's different perspectives on life okay that's all for me bye for now bye for now uh, how do i hang up the notes are covering it all up again there you go finish bye